Joel, and this is Comic Smack, the weekly comic book show where we take closer, more in-depth looks at the coolest and most happening comic storylines going on. And on today's show, we're going to be taking a closer look at Power Man and Iron Fist issue number one. Yep, Luke Cage and Danny Rand are back, and just in time for their new Netflix shows, too, so let's hop on into the comic and see what we can see. So, as the comic opens, Luke Cage and Danny Rand have joined together for one last very important mission. Luke Cage swears up and down both to Danny and to his wife, Jessica Jones, that this is a one-time thing. They are not coming back together. The Heroes for Hire are not reforming. Stop asking about it. He's not going to be putting on a tiara anytime soon. One of the things you'll notice right away is that Danny Rand the Iron Fist is back to his old happy-go-lucky, kinda silly, kinda nerdy counterpart that he was before the last Iron Fist run and if you ask me, the world is better for this. Now, what, pray tell, you might be asking is so important that it got Power Man and Iron Fist back together? Well, it seems that they're going to prison to pick up an old friend of theirs, Jenny Royce, the former Heroes for Hire secretary who went to jail for killing her abusive boyfriend, Eugene, aka Crime Buster. Now, just in case you were wondering too, these are all real events that happened in real stories throughout Marvel's long-running history. Check it out if you don't believe me, already showing that this new comic has hella attention to detail. Danny and Luke, of course, say they'll do everything in their power to help their friend Jeannie get back on her feet after getting out of jail. Unfortunately, her first request is a little much. She wants the not heroes for hire to retrieve a necklace of hers that belonged to her grandmother. This necklace was unfortunately picked up by some people that Jeannie's ex owed a lot of money to, bad people that now Iron Fist and Luke Cage are going to have to go deal with. Danny is all for this, of course, saying, Genie's family, we gotta do it, Luke. Luke, on the other hand, isn't exactly crazy about the whole arrangement. Then again, he remembers how hard it probably was for Genie in prison, being the fact that she was a superhero secretary, and that probably didn't make her a lot of friends on the inside. The quest for the necklace brings our heroes in front of none other than Tombstone, who, man, this guy never looked good, but he's also never looked uglier than he does right here. At first, Luke Cage tries to play it cool. He doesn't want to start a fuss. He even goes as far as to tell Danny to shut up and let him do all the talking, but then something strange happens. You see, Tombstone does indeed have the necklace, but he didn't come by it the way Genie said he did. The way Lonnie Lincoln tells it, he won it fair and square in a game of chance, and now that these heroes have come into his place of business and are calling him a liar, well, now they gots to go, so a fight, of course, breaks out. Obviously, a bunch of Harlem thugs are nothing compared to a man with bulletproof skin and another man with kung fu skills so good that his fists literally light up. Our heroes return the necklace once again, Luke reiterating that they are not a team, they are not back together, even though Danny has totally made up flyers for the newly reformed heroes for hire. And Jeannie, well, she just kind of dodges all the important questions, that is, until the end of the issue when we find out her sister was the one who put her up to that scheme. Who is her sister? Well, Black Maria, of course, classic 70s Luke Cage villain, as well as someone who's going to be showing up in the new TV show, so it's good to have her here now as the comic ends. Power Man and Iron Fist number one is a great start to this new comic series. It's awesome seeing Luke and Danny back together again in the dialogue. Feels like it was ripped right out of a classic Shaft black exploitation movie. The design work is absolutely on point, and all the mythology gags for longtime fans of the heroes for hire is definitely going to please a lot of people out there. I would give this one a very positive. 9 out of 10, definitely check this one out. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.